This is how William Starrett tries to unite the community. Through the human spirit and the human body moving and bringing music to life, there's nothing like it. Every year, he stages five or six full productions as the artistic and executive director of the Columbia City Ballet. He's also created nearly two dozen ballets for young audiences through his educational outreach program. And we uh, reach 18,000 uh, children a year, and we've reached over a half a million children since 1991. Right now, we're doing The Grinch Who Stole Christmas, which is a lot about um, being kind and generous and um, not being a bully. Through dance, he's tackled complex emotions like hate and intolerance. I also created the um, Ballet of um, Emmanuel, which also was, you know, my answer to try to make sense of that horrible atrocity that happened in Charleston. Another ballet of his brought the colorful paintings of Jonathan Green to life. Dancing the Art of Jonathan Green is an amazing uh, ballet of transcendence and of unity. You could say addressing problems through dance is something Starrett learned as a child in Southern California as the son of a construction company owner. And a family was remodeling their home and they couldn't afford to pay their bill. And the wife was a dance teacher. And so they gave my sister and I free dance lessons to help pay the bill of, of the remodeling of their home. His love of dance grew from there, earning him international acclaim as a professional before landing in South Carolina. I want everyone to love the art of dance as much as I do. That includes husbands who find ballet boring. His answer, Dracula. So they discover the art through maybe seeing the Dracula, and it's not for children, you know, it's a little bit sexy. But children are who Start hopes to reach most in the mission to find common ground. Art is really, to me, the the signature of what you achieve as a civilization.